Hi, this is Nick from Bottle-Lamp.com and today I'm going to do a review for the Roto-Rim Bottle Sander. Uh, the Roto-Rim Bottle Sander uh, retails for under $50 and when you get it you'll receive this shaft and the area that you hold the bottle in. To put it together is really simple. There's a hole in the bottom that you take the bolt and put it through and then simply screw this on There, you're together. These threads here will tighten down on the shaft and of an electric motor that you can put it on and you'll be ready to go. So, with my Allen wrench, I'm going to do just that. I simply slide it on. I'll have to back this one out just a little bit. Now that I have it on the shaft, I'll just tighten these up. There, nice and snug. All right, so, now with my motor, I've made some slight adjustments so that it'll turn in reverse. It's just a matter of switching over two wires inside. Once that's set up, You'll take your scored and separated glass bottle and using this foam pad that comes with the, with the sanding device, you simply put it on and make sure that your ends are symmetrical. When putting it inside, you'll line it up and turn it as you go in. There, you heard it hit the bottom and now you're set to go. I'm going to, for the purposes of this demonstration, simply plug in and get the motor going. You have the option to hook up a foot pedal. With this hooked up, you can literally sit here and push with your foot to make this turn and release and take in and out your glass bottles and make it a smoother process. But again, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to be focusing on the sanding device itself. So. Um, when you're doing this, uh, you can use block sandpaper, a block with sandpaper. But I have these uh, saber tooth sanding pads that I've been using for years and um, they work really well. That's another review. Uh, always have some water with you so that you can wet your sandpaper while you're doing this. Safety glasses, huge. You're going to want to use that because when this thing gets going, it will spray out and uh, you'll get that uh, resi residue off from your sanding. So um, I'm all set up here. I'm going to turn my motor on. That's quiet. That's nice. I mean, if you're going to be running this thing all day, you don't want it too noisy. Putting a little bit of water on my pad, I'm going to start sanding. This is a pretty coarse pad that I have right now. And I've got my edge. Now I'm going to come out and do the outer rim. You can see it turning white. And then I'm going to hit the inside. There you go. All right. Now my next pad is a finer sand, uh, a finer grit. And all I'm gonna do is basically run this over like you would run it a, cl a cloth. Again, hit the inside and the out, and hit that outer edge. There you go. It's nice and smooth. You've got it all lined up. Okay. Let me wash that off. There. So now, look at that. I mean, how long did I spend here? Maybe 20 seconds tops of actual sanding time. That is a nice, smooth finish. This thing's ready to go. There you have, I mean, a finished product that you really, um, once this thing's set up and running, minimal amount of time to sand and do that with. All right, 
Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section before below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We love that. And uh, for other uh, useful bottle crafting techniques, tools, and ideas, be sure to check out our channels. Thank you.